imaginary numbers by Eve Tungi. Now, Eve was obsessed with surrealism, and we can really feel that here. Although he was an untrained painter, he was a master of creating imaginary worlds. This is a perfect example here. Almost looks like a city, a city unlike anything we've ever seen. And he had a seafaring past. He had worked out at the water, and we can feel that with this dark, looming water. It almost has a sinister, element to it, especially combined with that dark sky that almost seems to whirl like a tornado. It seems this whole thing, apparently it is warning us of something that is coming. But my favorite thing about this is the way all those organic shapes, they combine up and they form this perfectly flat plateau. It's as if all of the life has become this flat surface. And that's why I think the sinister element is really a warning to us of not losing what makes us different. Don't all become the same. It flattens out the personality. It flattens out people. And what will happen? We'll all become like these rocks that are all the same if we do that. If you like my videos, please do subscribe. It helps me to get the good word out about great art.